All righty, y'all. Back with something pretty cool today. We're going to check out this Bond Arms Derringer here. And this is on loan to the channel from a friend of mine, so I can do a review on it and just test one out and have fun shooting it. I got these nice rosewood, I believe it's rosewood grips. This is an all stainless frame and barrel. And this is pretty cool. It's a little two shot Derringer, kind of a redesigned Derringer here. You notice the hammer is kind of floating there, and they had they designed that to be safe. It's not resting on the firing pin. These are drop safe. These are single action only. Uh, pretty cool. So actuate that lever. That opens it up. Put your two rounds in. You can close that, and you're good to go. These are super cool. These are made in Granbury, Texas, right here in Texas. They've been around for a while. This is my first chance. Uh, getting my hands on one and uh, getting into the range. But these these are pretty cool. It's a hefty little sucker. They say 20 ounces. I measured on my scale at 21. Doesn't mean my scale's right. But these are these are hefty little suckers. So I guess after you expend your two rounds, if you don't uh, do the damage, you can always bludgeon or throw it. Uh, it'd be a pretty good tool for that. Now the sights are pretty rudimentary. You got a little notch here and you got your blade front sight. I did have some issues with a little... A little bit of accuracy on this, but it, initially I was shooting it at seven yards, and I think this is more designed for about three. Uh, I know a lot of people are probably accurate with this that shoot them a lot. This is my first experience with these little guys, so for me it was a little bit of a challenge. Really nice finish on these, though. Now this one is chambered in 327 Federal, which never really caught on, but is an exceptional caliber. Ballistically, just phenomenal and i know there, there's some guys with a uh, lever lever guns with 327 that's a good lever gun round but uh for for self-defense 327 federal is a pretty pretty hot little round not a whole lot of recoil and it just never really caught on much there are some revolvers chambered in it but the ammo is really really hard to find kind of the unicorn ammo uh, but I, I have a little bit, and we're going to take a few shots of that. I don't want to shoot too much because the ammo was donated to the channel as well, so I want to give them back some. But I'm excited about shooting this in 327 Federal. We also have here a 22 Magnum barrel. Now, these barrels, this is a pretty cool idea here, pretty cool design. This little hex screw here, you back that out and take it out. Your barrel actually just comes right off the frame and you put your new barrel on. It sits right in there like that. You just screw it back together. So you can have one frame and multiple different calibers in this, which is which is pretty cool. I like that. It's very innovative. Uh, these are pretty comfortable for as small as they are. And I mean, it it is tiny. Fits pretty well, but you're only getting two fingers on there. So this should be fun in the 327. I can't wait to... To check it out so they do have a smaller well same i think overall size but thinner and lighter version of this that came out recently called the stinger the stinger model chambered in 380 and 9 millimeter and i do want to get my hands on one of those for review and probably just to own one i think it's a pretty cool uh, backup you know backup gun or just a this is to me this i wouldn't carry this it's more of a novelty just only two shots and weighing, you know, over 20 ounces. But these are pretty, pretty sweet little guns. Really well made. This does have a cross bolt safety. In here, there's a little screw hole there. If I get my camera to focus, you can actually tighten that down and it locks that safety. So the safety won't be usable anymore. It just won't move. So if you don't want a safety on here, you can disable that, which is also pretty cool. Here you got your extractor that'll bring your rounds up now you are going to have to remove these by hand but it does help kind of push them out so you can get your hands on them overall really cool little design kind of a, a redesign of you know some older derringers it's a safe design pretty cool piece so let's get to the rain so i started out shooting this uh, outdoors at about seven yards in 22 mag the 22 mag is a blast to shoot out of this there's no recoil it's a lot of fun however i could not hit a damn thing now it was on paper 
but I couldn't get it grouped to speak of at seven yards. It was kind of all over the place. I think this gun's really designed for about three yards. And, and some of you that own these may disagree with me. You, you may be accurate at seven yards. You may be able to make a two inch group. I don't know. I, I just, uh, I had trouble with the sight picture. I think it's more of a point and shoot kind of gun, but it, it was a lot of fun. And the, the fireball from 22 mag out of this is, is pretty cool. It, it just was fun. I enjoyed myself and, uh, I, I'd, I'd own one of these just for the, you know, for the fun of it. And this thing's small. And there's where I ran into some trouble. I got a couple boxes of Hornady VMAX a few months ago, and I've had good luck with Hornady ammo in the past, but I cannot get either box to run in three different 22 mag pistols. Nothing but malfunctions. Here, just nothing but light primer strikes for days. And so I decided to go ahead and swap barrels to the 327, but it, you know, just would not run. You want to own it? Um, as a novelty, right. like, thing. Yeah. 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 I mean, if they're cool as shit, I just can't hit anything. Would you, would you use it often? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> more of like a... Check this out. <laughs> more of, yeah, more of like a collector's kind of piece. So I do appreciate the simplicity of this. So easy to swap barrels to different calibers. And I think you will see at the end of this video how much fun I had shooting the 327 Federal. But yeah, just a few seconds, you have a whole new caliber on there. And that is pretty damn cool. I'll give them kudos for that. You ever seen a unicorn? Because <laughs> that's what it looks like right there. Right there. 327 <laughs> Federal. You can't find it. Look, I looked everywhere for this shit. <laughs> this damn thing is so small, and I know it's one hell of a, a fireball at the very least. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna take two more shots of this. Yeah, I think you should. Two dollar ammo or whatever. Two more rounds and <laughs> I think we're, we're good on that, but just because it costs so much, but that's fun as shit.